but let's go to the, in a sense, the argument of the ends justifying the means. Uh, many, uh, many people on the left have uh, criticized uh, those people speaking out against health care reform about being mean-spirited and denying uh, those who can't afford health care, those who've been denied health care because of pre-existing conditions. Uh, you know, is this being mean-spirited by not passing some kind of public um, health insurance? It's not a question of being mean-spirited. In a way, it's a very easy answer. Now let's leave aside the policy implications of a public option, which I think are, are, are bad ones. Uh, even if you accept the proposition that the ends justify the means, if you destroy the constitutional structure that this country has operated under, you have opened up in the future the opportunities to have the coercive use of governmental power that would have such horrible consequences that far from the ends justifying this set of means. This set of means cannot be justified by any ends. What people frequently don't realize is you cannot just look at it one issue at a time. If you change the framework, the legal rules, you've changed it not perhaps forever, but certainly for a very long time. And you have to look at the consequences, policy-wise, that would produce. It's not just about the health care debate. It's about the next bill, and the next bill, and the next policy area. And the genius of the framers is adopting a set of restrictions on governmental power that, however inconvenient in any particular policy exercise, in the long run, is beneficial. Because the government that's too powerful is by definition the government that threatens your liberty and mine, even if today governmental power is being used to placate me, to limit your liberty and enhance my well-being. Because if governmental power brooks no limits, then tomorrow it would be your liberty and my liberty. Thank you. That's a very sobering thought. Well, that's the view that the framers brought to bear, and they were absolutely correct. They were exceptional exceptional set of people.